So I just got out of the shower. Um, today has been a bit of a lazy, kind of down day for me because you know I've got a lot of things going on in my life, of course, outside of YouTube. I literally woke up, started to get uh, you know get myself together and um, get ready for the day. Had something to eat. Did a bit of uh, video editing. Um, I sent some emails, made some calls, then I head over to the shower, right? Get in the shower, I'm in there for about 10 minutes, it takes me like 15 to 20 minutes in the shower and within like 10-15 minutes I'm in the shower, like I'm literally almost done, I need to just do one or two more things before I get out. All I hear is one of my flatmates, like, who's that in the shower? And I only, I only clocked what he said after he said it again because I was like, huh? And he was like, you know, he knew it was me by my voice. And he was like, how long does it take you to have a shower? And meanwhile, I'm trying to like get on with the shower and the shower's going, you know, it's all loud and there's water going everywhere. And you know when you can't really hear what someone's saying and they're trying to have a full-blown full -blown conversation with you while you're in the shower. I really hate that. It's like, if you're gonna wanna talk, knock on the door, say, have you got a minute, and then I'll turn the fucking shower off. Like, don't try and talk to me whilst I'm showering and, and you know, just mind my own business. And he didn't, even, he didn't even talk, he raised his voice and that literally jumped me out of my skin. I was like, I was like oh shit, what? <laughs> like, what's going on? That made me freak out a bit because, you know, when you're in, when you're just not paying attention and you're just enjoying the warm water and you're just like ah you know you know how it is when he asked how long does it take you to go in the shower i'm telling you the way he said it was not nice i was like um about 20 minutes and he was like no and then i didn't catch the rest of what he said but by like the vibe i felt and the like the what i did hear like i didn't hear it exactly word for word it was a bit muffled because of the shower I was being rude and I was thinking, okay, there's no need to use that tone with me because I heard the tone, I, uh, I felt the, you know, the vibe at me and the shouting and everything. Didn't catch exactly what he said, but I knew, like, I knew for sure that is a bit rude. And I'm just thinking, if you need to use the bathroom and someone is in there, they've been in there for about 10 minutes or whatever, the right way to go about it is to knock on the bathroom door ask them how long they, they're gonna be and just tell them that you need to use the bathroom <laughs> that is just as simple as that you don't need to go on asking them questions and you know trying to have some full-blown conversation but really it's not even a conversation you're just kind of giving them a piece of your mind because <laughs> you're uh you know you just didn't even ask to get in the bathroom in the first place and i didn't even know that anyone wanted to use the bathroom to be honest i asked him as i was in the shower do you want to use the bathroom? And I'm sure he said no, so I have no idea what's uh, going on with that. And I haven't heard anyone go into the bathroom since I got out of there. I literally stopped my shower about five or six minutes early just so that he could get in there, like if he wanted to use it. Skipped on shaving, I skipped on, <laughs> I skipped on scrubbing my feet. You, know, you gotta scrub the feet, right? And I'm just like, really though? Like why you gotta be so rude for? And this isn't the first time where I've like sent some rudeness from this particular flatmate. When I'm cooking something, he'll walk into the kitchen and be like, oh, what are you cooking? That shit again. Like, it's just it's rude. I'm sure he's like this with everyone, but it's just, nah, I'm, I'm not feeling it. I don't care if someone is rude or rude in a playful manner with everyone. It's like, we're not on that level. Like, I don't know you. Why are you uh, talking to me like we're best buddies and like we're on, you know, that friendly sort of level like i've only lived here for uh just under 12 months so it's like you know we, we, why <laughs> it's not like we we grew close or anything and like to top it all off the guy is retired he's in his in his 60s or 70s one of those or like in the middle so like 65 and he's this tall white-haired caucasian guy and yeah, he's slim, very slim. Doesn't really wear a t-shirt in the house. I don't know why. And he's on the the floor, the first floor. 
and I'm on the second floor so yeah it's not like we're talking all the time or you know I'm out quite often don't really don't really chill in the common room area or the kitchen so yeah there was no never any chance for us to you know talk much or anything so that's why I say don't talk to me like you know me because <laughs> with my friends with people I feel comfortable with sarcasm it comes out a lot and I'm very cheeky and you know they know that I'm joking and it's because we've known each other for years or it doesn't even have to be years you know you can meet someone and you can be talking for a few weeks and you click just like that and yeah you build that sort of comfort and that report with them so my point is that we my, me and my flatmate we do not have that report so anyways guys that was my little rant there about <laughs> being disturbed in the shower like this has happened multiple times like not just living here but when i was living back at my grandparents they would have the same issue like either the issue is with me or it's with them because i spend a considerable amount of time in the bathroom to be honest like when i know that no one needs to use the bathroom or no one has asked to use the bathroom then i'll be in there for like 20 30 minutes and I could be doing a range of things but usually what takes the longest is when I'm having a long hot shower or a hot bath and I'm just you know soaking my body, scrubbing my body, shaving and the longest thing that I probably do in the bathroom is my, my hair to be honest so I you know I try and pick a time where I know that people aren't gonna be wanting to use the bathroom but in saying that it's like you can't really pick a time because you, you know I'm not that psychic that I know when when exactly people are going to want to use the bathroom like I'm the sort of person I'd be like okay come on guys let's do a rota so <laughs> you want to use the bathroom at this time I want to use it at this time so we'll just do that like I'm very organized like that's a logical way to do it or even the scenario in my flat you know we wouldn't do a rota like that because we all keep to ourselves so if someone wants to use the bathroom just knock on the door say you need to use the bathroom and literally I would be out like that like it would take me less than two minutes to get out of the bathroom just so you can use it and it's all cool but yeah going back to my grandparents they would do the same thing um i haven't really talked much on this channel about what went on at my grandparents but it was pretty rough there it was like a lot of emotional issues going on a lot of picking on me um yeah, it really wasn't nice living there um and that's all I can say, it was very horrible. Maybe one day I'll delve into it just to share my story with you guys who may be going through the same thing or have gone through the same thing, but it was horrible there. It was very... Okay, so I literally ran out of space, had to delete like six videos and now I'm back. But as I was saying, at my grandparents it was like emotional trauma right there. A lot of things went on and when it came to the bathroom, they had a bath and they had uh, you know the shower attachment and they would always tell me to use the shower attachment but I was you know I like to switch it up a bit so once or twice a week I'd like to take a bath and then you know for the rest of the week I'm called cool to take a shower but it's like shit I'm standing at my window <laughs> okay so hopefully you guys can see me all right I literally had to just close the curtains because standing by my window someone was like looking out their window don't know if they saw me but just to be safe I just shut the curtains anyways um, so my grandparents would always tell me to use the shower instead of having a bath because they believed that the shower used less water but they did not know me <laughs> if you know me you know that I use a lot of water when I'm in the shower and when I'm in the bath I just fill it up to you know the point where I fill it up to which is usually all the way up and that's it but because they were looking at like how much water was in the tub and they couldn't actually see how much water I was using in the shower they would think that I'm using a ridiculous amount of water if I'm having a bath but if I was to put the plug in the drain as I was showering i'm sure literally the bath would overflow and it would come up to so much more water than i would be using if i went in the bath so there was always that issue they told me to you know have a shower it was almost like they were trying to force me but you know it didn't work because I, I always used to just go in the bath when they probably weren't 
spying on me because <laughs> that's what they used to do as bad as it sounds like watching my every move and everything and just commenting on literally everything it was like being it was like being a little prisoner in someone else's home that's how i describe it so when i was using the bathroom like to wash my face brush my teeth like do my whole morning routine or my nighttime routine whatever thing i was doing in the bathroom showering washing my hair whatever I spend quite a bit of time in there i'm not gonna lie and they would just get angry they would be shouting at me and i would be like what is going on because it's like from my point of view it's like if you need to use the bathroom just tell me and literally i will get out like i don't see what is so difficult about telling someone that you need to use the bathroom or asking them how long they're gonna be because if someone asks me how long i'm gonna be in the bathroom then i'm straight away going to assume oh they need to use the bathroom so i'm gonna just you know get out it's the the same thing like whether they ask me how long i'm gonna be or whether they tell me they need to use the bathroom i'll pretty much treat it as the same thing so they wouldn't even knock on the door either um but i have no idea what was going on there but apparently my grandmother didn't like knocking on the door when someone was in the bathroom she just thought you should just come out of the bathroom and you shouldn't spend so much time in there in the first place that's what she thought like you should be 10 minutes in 10 minutes out but to be honest i've always been the sort of person that takes their time with everything especially when it comes to using the bathroom washing my face moisturizing doing like a face scrub doing i don't know a face mask or whatever or just in general having a shower washing my hair all of that takes me time you know plus shaving as well that is just like an extra hour right there <laughs> lol joke more like 30 minutes but you get my point right i take my time i can't expect someone that takes their time like it's natural i'm definitely not taking the piss because it's like it's natural i'm not doing it on purpose to spite anyone um it's just the way i am but they would accuse me of doing it on purpose like oh you don't want anyone else to use the bathroom they would be telling me oh you're so selfish you only care about yourself uh you take so long in the bathroom you don't care whether anyone else gets in there you just care you're just all for yourself self self and that was more my grandmother than anything but my grandfather would back her up which was a bitch mega pain in the ass uh <laughs> my relationship with my grandparents is not good non-existent don't want to ever see them or talk to them ever again that's literally that's literally how bad things got while i was living there there's some whole backstory as well but i won't get into it now because this is all about you know being in the bathroom wanting to use the bathroom and yeah so guys let me know what you do if you want to use the bathroom when someone else is in there like this is ridiculous like i can't believe i made a video on this but i was inspired by what happened downstairs while i was showering and you know i had to get out of the bathroom early and that frustrated me so i thought hey let me go to youtube and see what other people think because that's what you do right <laughs> uh, so what i would do if i need to use the bathroom it depends how desperate i am first of all because sometimes i'll just wait until i'm really really desperate for some reason like i'm probably i'm most likely busy with something else or so absorbed in something else that i will literally wait until the last minute until like my bladder is gonna burst and then i'll be like okay i'm gonna go to the bathroom now but knowing that there's only one bathroom downstairs and the one upstairs is out of order because it's being renovated i don't do that so i'll go downstairs with enough time and i'll see if anyone's in the bathroom and if someone is in the bathroom i'll literally just go back upstairs come back down five minutes later if they're still in the bathroom i'd probably knock on the door and you know that would let them know <laughs> that someone wants to use the bathroom and i'd either wait outside depending on their response or i just go back upstairs and come back down in another five minutes and yeah that's all it takes and i've been in the bathroom it's like people bottle things up and they don't actually tell me that they need to use the bathroom or that they've been waiting for a certain amount of time because you know no one's a mind reader at the end of the day i'm not going to know whether someone is has been waiting for like 10 minutes to use the bathroom like as far as i'm concerned i'm just doing what i'm doing like i'm in that moment and no one has come to me to say x y or z therefore literally nothing's wrong i think it's all about communication because if you communicate well and you don't bottle things up and then you you know when people bottle things up so much so that they end up shouting at you outside the bathroom or just acting really nasty to you for no reason and yeah just <laughs> just, just having some whole sort of negative attitude and it's all about 
wanting to get in the bathroom and it could have all been avoided by just saying I want to use the bathroom, how long gonna be? <laughs> and that's it. It's a, bit, it's a bit weird, it's a bit sad, you know. Um, my view of the guy is now changed so that's all on him. It's like fuck you, can't wait to move out of here because <laughs> That's just that's just how I am. Like if you piss me off, if you treat me in a way that I don't deserve to be treated in, then I'm not gonna think of you in the same way. If you apologize, then sure I can forgive you and we can move forward. But it's like I'm just gonna be like, oh okay, I don't don't wanna be dealing with that right there. But anyways guys, I'm gonna end this video here because I need to get out of the house. I've been in here for too long. I just wanna go on a bike ride, go for a walk, do some shopping do X, Y and Z. Today is a bank holiday so in London, in the UK, if you're watching from a different country, let me just explain it to you. Maybe it's the same way you are as well but literally everywhere is shut. On a bank holiday places are either closed or they close early and it's coming up to the time where everywhere is shut so I'm not going to be able to do my grocery shopping, I'm not going to be able to go to the bank, I'm not going to be able to go to the library if I wanted to. No, I'm not going to be able to go anywhere because literally everywhere is fucking shut on a bank holiday and I have like, it's Easter holidays right? But I don't celebrate Easter so this is really pointless to me. All over the Easter holidays I've been itching to just work and you know be busy but because it's the Easter holidays it's like I can't because everywhere is like sorry we're closed and you know workplaces are giving you time off. I know some people are still working but literally there is no work for me because it's the Easter holidays. You know some people they would be more appreciative of having the time off and everything and like, don't get me wrong I have enjoyed like some moments of not working and being at home and just chilling and you know getting a lot of editing done because I have a few videos coming for you guys in a few weeks um, and you should totally stay tuned for those. But I like to be busy and I like to be productive and if everywhere's closed, if like public transport is just, you know, it's not saying much, it's literally, there's a, there's a limited service. If everywhere is just fucked up because it's a holiday, it just leaves me feeling like, ugh, like I probably should make more out of holidays next time round because this is, this is a thing. Like last Christmas, was it last Christmas? No, not last Christmas, not the Christmas. Is it the Christmas before that? Okay, so not last Christmas, but the Christmas before last Christmas, I was just stuck in a place that I did not want to be, i.e. my grandparents. I do not celebrate Christmas, but they go, I was going to say all out, but they, they just have some, you know, some big family gathering and they're all like happy and bubbly and they have such Christmas spirit. Whereas I'm just like, it's a normal day, like literally it's just, it's just a normal day. Um, I'm not religious so I'm not going to be celebrating the birth of Christ and I know that a lot of people they're not religious and they don't celebrate the birth of Christ but they celebrate Christmas but they do it in a, in a commercial way so they buy gifts for each other, they expect people to give them gifts, they exchange cards and etc and of course they see it as a time to be together with your family or your friends whatever um, so I can get it from that point of view but from my like in my own personal opinion, I feel that Christmas and all of these other holidays, they should be celebrated by people who are actually following the religion and who are actually in that faith because if someone's Christian and they spend the time with their family and they gather around the table, they pray, you know, they thank the Lord Jesus for their food and all of that stuff and they say Amen and they share warm and sincere messages from the heart uh, towards each other and they exchange beautiful gifts and everything and you know their heart is in another place their heart isn't in the place of oh I'm gonna get drunk or I'm gonna I'm just here for the food I'm gonna stuff my face so much or you know I really just came here to get my presents to be honest like that's literally how some people are and I don't think it's you know I know it, it happens and that's the way a lot of people think but I don't think it's right to be honest I think if you're not religious then like me personally, I'm not religious so I'm not going to celebrate a holiday that was meant to be religious. But I admire people who can actually celebrate a holiday the way it's meant to be, or the way it was intended should I say, because you know there's no, there's no right or wrong but I'm just saying there's an intention behind certain holidays. If people can celebrate it in that way then 
you know, I think it's good. I think it's nice um, to have that family time and that religious time with your family or your friends. And, you know, don't just use the holidays to get drunk. Don't just use it to stuff your face, to get presents, get money, whatever. I think it should be more meaningful than that. But anyways, this turned into a huge rant, guys. I didn't expect my flatmate kind of being a bit rude and asking to use the shower. I didn't expect it would turn into this right here. But there you go, guys. Um, again, share with me what you would do if you want to use the bathroom. How long do you take in the bathroom? Any sort of bathroom related questions that you can think of, like I'm all for it and let me know if you've been in my situation before, like you're in the bathroom, you're just casually just, I don't know, doing your makeup, having a nice shower, a nice soak in the bath, you're relaxing and then all of a sudden you hear someone banging on the door shouting and it's like, a lot of people think, oh this is like a black thing and I'm sorry to say, but yeah, <laughs> it, it seems like it is mostly a black thing. Um, or a, a bit of a chavvy sort of ghetto thing uh, that people with no manners that's what they do, they bang hard on the door and they shout and they scream and they're all nasty and everything whereas they could actually just be civil and they could be like I need to use the bathroom that's it but yeah let me know if you've ever been in that sort of situation before and feel free to subscribe and like if you haven't already and I shall see you in another video guys and also let me know if you like these styles of videos where I'm just literally talking to the camera and rambling on about one, two, three topics that kind of connect to each other but they really don't but they somehow do let me know if you like it and I'll see you in my next video